Today I'm going to show you how to verify the receive address for your Unchained Vault to ensure that you're receiving Bitcoin to an address that you can withdraw from in the future. You'll need your two hardware wallets that were used to build the vault and the correct cables and dongles to connect them. Please note that ledgers don't currently have the ability to verify your multi-sig address on the device. Bitcoin transactions are completely immutable, so if you send Bitcoin to the wrong address, it means that the Bitcoin is inaccessible forever. Thankfully, hardware wallets have the ability to check your address on the device before sending funds. Checking your address on your device teaches you three really important things about the address, which ensures that it was built correctly and is safe to send funds to. First, if your device displays the address, you know that the address was built correctly in terms of the multi-signature form. You know your address is a two of three, for example, and not a two of five where an attacker has added two more of their keys than actually controls the address. Two, you know that the computer that you're working on doesn't have a virus or malware that finds Bitcoin addresses and replaces them with an attacker's address. If your device matches what you see on your computer, you know that your computer is safe. And three, if your device displays the correct address, it's your device telling you that you hold a key to that address. The address is under partial control of the device. Checking the address on your device should be done before sending any meaningful amounts of Bitcoin to the address. Of course, you can test sending small amounts of Bitcoin to an address, and that's okay. If you have a cold card, be sure to import your multi-signature cold card configuration file by downloading it from Unchained onto your SD card, unlocking the cold card, and plugging the SD card into the device, selecting Settings, Multi-Sig Wallet, then Import from SD. This will tell you the multi-signature quorum, two of three in this case. You only need to do this setup one time. Next, go to the Address Explorer on the main menu. Then, open up the multi-signature file that you just uploaded. It's all the way below the single signature addresses, below the custom path field. Scroll down until you see an equal sign and a little caret. Below that, the cold card will display the first eight digits and the last eight digits of the address that you see on your screen. If you have checked your two of three multi-signature address on two of three of the devices that control the address, you know for certain that the address is under your complete control and is totally safe to send as much Bitcoin to as you would like. I hope this video makes you feel more confident about depositing into your Unchained Vault. If you'd like to watch more how-to guides and webinars, make sure you subscribe to our channel to receive notifications. Thanks for watching.